Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. Um, today I'm going to be unboxing this Revolution Beauty box that I ordered a couple of weeks ago. It took ages to get here, it must be because of the current situation. But yesterday I posted on my Instagram if you guys would like to see me start a YouTube channel. So this is my first video and I thought, what a better time to start when this box arrived today. It was like fate. I woke up this morning after posting and I was like, oh, I don't think I can do this. But I thought, let's go for it. What's the worst that can happen? So yes, let's dive into the box. Right. So, this big S box. Look at that. £52, all that for £52. That is so good. Is the Nath matte lipstick in the shade biscuit um, I think this was five pounds this was actually full price let me just take it out by the way if you can hear my kid she's supposed to be sleeping and she's currently screeching so this is it look at that packaging that's I don't know if you can see it it's really it's shining off my ring light I think it's like yeah it's like a nudie color it looks really nice it's like a corally brownie nude so we'll be trying that out today um, the second item, I'm actually going to wear this just now, it's a headband. I think this was £4. I thought it'd be good for um, doing my skincare. I've been really, really trying to keep up to my skincare recently because my skin for some reason is so bad. I don't know whether it's been indoors all the time or just not looking after my skin properly. So I'm going to put this on now or just before we get into the video, I'll just show you what it's like. Oh, soft. It's quite nice actually. And it's got the wee Revolution logo on the front. So I'll be putting that on. The next item was the, is this Pro Precision Brush Oval Face Brush. So I think this is a foundation brush. You could probably use it for contour or concealer as well. Can you see that? Sorry, it's really reflective off my ring light. I do not have the proper technology to do makeup videos but um yeah so we'll be trying that out with my foundation today the next item i was so excited for this by the way watermelon i heart revolution and this is a dewy makeup fix and spray i've been really liking my like dewy foundations recently I try not to use matte my skin's so dry so this sort of stuff helps so we'll be trying that and smelling that this is the item I have been most looking forward to. I've seen loads of YouTubers review this, especially um, Emma Fleming. Yeah, Emma Fleming. She's an Irish girl. She's so good at makeup. You need to go and watch her. But this is the I Heart Revolution Baking Powder. This is in the shade Coconut. I thought about getting the banana one, but I'm just too pale. It just will not work in my skin. It always goes really yellowy. Um, the banana powder so yeah I got the coconut which is a lighter shade and it's supposed to smell amazing so I'll be trying that there's Ivy hopefully she goes to sleep the next item I got this is the loose shimmer highlight dust um, illuminator so if I open it up you can see the color see it's like just like a white sort of highlight oh look oh mm. Oh, it's got a wee puff. I'm really not sure what this is for. I think it's a highlighter. Yeah, it's a loose highlighter. Um, so yeah, we'll be cracking into that. See what it's like on the face. The other item I got because I'm really trying to look after my skin is this Naya Na Nakamite. I I cannot read that. Nakamite. I don't know if you can see that with the shine. Tonic. Clarifying tonic with chamomile extract. I think it's a face toner. This was full price. I think this was the most expensive product. This was ten pounds. So I will be trying that um, tonight when I take off all my face. The next item, and this one is so funny because I was so excited for this. I literally got this. This is the Jake and Jamie Revolution skincare face mask. It's feed your face. His stuff's amazing. I've got one of his, like hydrating mists and I ordered this I was like it's four quid yeah great a nice mask it is mince pie it is mince pie scented or whatever um 
which is really gross but I will try it let me know if you want to see a video on that on do, using all the skincare stuff because I do have the eye creams and everything and it's so good so yeah let me know if you want to see a video on the revolution skincare I also got I have never done cream contour so I got this this is one of their foundation sticks but I got it in a darker color Um, I got it in M5 yeah, so I got it in M05, so I'm excited to use that. I've never used cream contour, so it'll be fun playing with that today. Also, this fast base concealer, I've seen a lot of people review this as well. Makeup by Jack being one of them, he loves this. So I thought, let's give it a go. This is in the shade C2. So we'll be trying that out. It might be a little bit dark. I do like a brightening um, concealer, but we'll see how it goes. The coconut powder might might help it. I got this Watermelon Popsicle Lip Balm as well. This was £3 I think. So yeah, I just got that because it's summer and you always need some moisturiser on your lips and I just got it because I just seen that and I wanted it basically. And then I think this is the last item. This is the Revolution, I think it's just Satin Kiss Lip Liner in Chauffeur. And this was, I think this is one of the items as long as the lipstick that came free. So yes, I'm very excited. So let's start with primer. Look at there, primer. So I've been loving this one recently. It's by e.l.f. The Poreless Putty Primer. My child. The Poreless Putty Primer. They do have their regular just poreless one, but this is a luminous poreless putty primer. And it's got a really nice sheen to it. It's got really nice, I don't know if you can see it. It's like, it's almost got like a hints of like glitter through it. So I'm going to be using that. Anyway, let's break into this brush. I've never used these oval brushes before. I've seen them everywhere. But let's see. Woo! Okay, look at that, this is so soft. So I'm gonna mix the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Hydro Longwear Foundation in the shade 185. I've been loving this, it sits so nice, it's so dewy, it's so soft, it's so hydrating. So I've been mixing this with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. This is too light for me, so that's why I've been mixing these two together. The Fenty one is a little bit too dark, so I've been sort of mixing them together. So I'm just going to do that just now. Ooh! Wow, this is actually really nice. So I'm going to go in with my beauty blender and get in the eyes. I think I'm just going to apply a wee bit more foundation. That foundation is really nice. It's really glowy, really dewy. If you like that sort of thing, if you don't like that sort of thing, then just use whatever foundation you like. Right, so time to... Eh. <sighs> Sorry, I love the cats. Cat hair everywhere. Play off. What the f... Right, so let's use this concealer. Why are they always, oh, let's go. So this is the Fast Base Concealer I'm gonna try out. I usually use the Jeffree Star in C5. That concealer is amazing, but I do have another Revolution one. I think it's the Conceal and Hydrate one. And I've been, no, yeah. The Conceal and Hydrate, this is the Fast Base. What the heck's going on? I can't open this. I'm sorry. My kid's still shouting. 
So. Oh. Okay. What? 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 Right. some of this on. Pharmacist as well. Right, so now it's time to contour. So I'm gonna use this wee stick that we got. Um, That's actually quite nice. I can, what I'll do is I'll set it with my regular bronzer. And then, yeah, I really like that. That blended so easily. I'm usually quite scared of the thought of a cream contour, but that's actually pretty nice. Mm. Yeah, so right, let's go ahead and I'll set that just now. And then we'll set my under eyes. I didn't want to go ahead and set my whole face. Where's my fucking blouse? <laughs> so I'm using the Jouer. Can you see that? Yeah, it's a bit uh, bronzer. This is the light to medium bronzer dual palette. That's it. And it looks like this. It's so nice. I just sort of dip into them boobs. And I'm just gonna let's dip into what I was most looking forward to, which was the coconut by Heart Revolution under the eye setting powder. So I'm gonna try and use this puff. I've never used one of these puffs before. How do I get into this? Ah. That smells like coconut. That is nice. Right, so I'm just going to dip into that. So it's got these wee holies in it. I'm just gonna like shake it up and dab the puff into it. Let's hope, my under eyes always crease. It's inevitable, so I'm hoping that my forehead. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. That sunburn, you can see it like collecting all the product in my nose. I love that setting powder. I'm totally understanding the hype now. But I'm just going to lightly dust that off. Not good. It is not good. Make sure you use SPF before you go outside. And Emily from my work literally gave me a dermatological little thing. She's like, there's a little moisturiser, SPF in it, use it, blah, blah, blah. No, I just sit in the sun, I'm like, F it. Soaking in the rays, but yeah, big mistake. Right, so stop talking, Jess. So I didn't get a bronzer in the Revolution Order, so I'm going to go ahead with my Milani Luminoso. I love this. I only got this about a month ago, and I've been loving it. So I'm just going to dab into that. And see that how it's like got that sort of shine to it as well. I like to bring it up quite high. Just with me being so pale, and I do bring a little bit around my head, with me being so pale, I need that extra colour. Yeah, what do you think? Yep. Yeah. Right, now for highlight. 
let's try this Makeup Revolution one that I got in the in the haul. So it did come with this puff. I don't really know how you would use that. You'd get a shit ton. So I am going to use my regular Morphe M501 brush and open this up. What's the heck? Oh, it's got this one of these sticky tabs on it. I hate these. Goodbye. Ooh, I'm going to put a little bit in the lid so that... Ooh, I hope this isn't loud enough. I really hope not. Right, let's see. Hmm, I think it might be. Oh. Oh! Wow. Wow. Holy sugar! I think it's a little bit too pale for me, but see on a night out. Look at that glow. Bitch. I'm gonna have some more to the other side, let's see. Do you know what? I'm gonna put that headband on. Doing my tips in my head. Ugh. Excuse my roots. Ah, <sighs> that's better. Right, anyway, let's get that open. Oh. <coughs> Sorry guys, but it just has to be done. That is so nice. So nice. Oh. Oh, Jess. Oh, Jess. You have overdone that. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit. But it's fine. Who's, who's actually going to care? My neighbours. My child, she doesn't care, She's, I can still hear her moaning. So I like to put my highlighter on my cheeks, tip of my nose, and just at the highest point of my forehead, which is just either side of my brows. No, above either side of my brows. And then I will put a wee bit on my cupid's bow there as well, just to, because I've got such wee lips. Oh. If you used that puff, you would be doomed. You would literally be shining from outer space. But yeah, I quite like that actually. Yeah, so the next item we're going to use is the Watermelon Dewy Fixing Spray. I'm gonna set my face now and at the end. I'm gonna set it now because I've used the under eye powder. I just want all the excess remaining powder to just soak in and to sort of maybe dim down this highlight. Oh, it smells like the dentist. Yeah, it smells like the dentist. That, that doesn't smell like watermelon, but it looks quite dewy. So I'm just going to use what I've been holding the whole time. I'm just gonna use this little Jeffree Star mini controversy palette. This was his collab with Shane Dawson. I literally, when the conspiracy palette, I've got it here actually, came out. Oh no, oh no. When this palette came out, I never got it. All of the websites collapsed and I couldn't go onto it. I was at work, went online at like five, gone. Couldn't, just couldn't go onto the um, beauty bay. And my friend Amy messaged me like, I got it. And I was like, I fucking hate you. Um, I couldn't get the palette anywhere. They still haven't restocked to this day. This was like last September, I think, it launched. And then we were on our staff night out. Um, I work at a salon, by the way, in Aviemore called Boutique. And I got this from my secret Santa and I broke down and cried like a baby. I, I never cry. And I full on broke down. So yeah, that's how much I love Jeffree Star. So I'm gonna use the mini palette in this collection. And I'm just gonna take a little Morphe M433 and I'm just gonna take this shade Cry On My Couch. A lot of us will be doing that at the moment. Okay, that is literally the same color as my foundation. So I might actually go on to this bad boy. Yeah, what are you guys doing to keep yourself busy? Apart from eating and watching. Yeah, so I'm gonna go into Tanacon. 
here. Oh, you can see my shite in my thing. Tanacon. The shade here. Um, that's such a nice colour. And I'm just bringing it up and then just slightly flicking it out just to give it my eyes a bit of lift. Yeah, so yeah, love that. Nice a natural eye there. Do you know what? I've decided that I'm gonna actually just put Tanacon all over the lid and then darken it the edges with this one right here. <laughs> this dye root beer. Yeah, so I might actually just get my finger and just put this in the center. That looks really nice actually. Nice for sitting on the sofa. And then I'm gonna get a wee Morphe X Jeffree Star JS12 and get this white shade here and put it. Can you hear my kid? Oh, and just put that in here just to lighten the inner corner. I would have put that highlighting shade that I got from Revolution in there, but it's, it was just a little bit too powdery. I'll probably end up greeting and then I'm going to put some up here. We're not going to talk about eyebrows today. We're not going to mention eyebrows today. We're not going to mention my eyebrows today and we are not going to mention anyone's eyebrows until we are all back and able to get them done because mine are shambles. I've been getting them laminated and I've been absolutely loving them. But I was used to getting laminated this week because we were supposed to be getting married tomorrow. Um, so I had organised with my friend Fern. And obviously because of the world's current situation, nothing is going ahead. So yeah, we don't talk about eyebrows today. Lovely. Yeah, so that's literally all I'm going to do with the eyes. I'm going to go out with this, in with this white Morphe coconut eyeliner. And um, I'm just going to put that in the... I, I just love it. I think it makes my eyes look bigger, opens my eyes. It's very, very early, mid 2000s. No, not mid 2000s. Tensies, tensies, yeah. Not, not sees ten, but whenever. I ordered this, this is Anastasia Lash Brag Volumizing Mascara. I got it in the mini. yes so right let's move on to lips so yeah so let's get into the revolution satin kiss lip liner this one here so i can open it open it <laughs> that's it oh they're almost identical how have i managed to do that anyway let's have a look let's cut to it excuse my weird face making while i'm doing this So yes, I'm going to go with the lipstick and let's see. Ah, okay. So the lipstick is a bit darker than the lip liner, so I might completely 
That is such a nice colour. It's pretty close to a lot of the lipsticks that I've got. Why is it as a human race that we smell stuff? I've noticed you just smell, you smell everything. That's strange. Maybe it's our animal instinct. Yeah, I really like that actually. What do you think? Perfect. Right, I think that's everything. Apart from the likes of the lip balm and the, the Jake and Jamie mince pie face mask. I think we've literally used everything. I'm going to go back in with the dentist smelling setting spray. <sighs> Take my headband out. Yes. So that's it for the final look today. Let me know what you think. I absolutely love this highlighter. I love the concealer. I love the setting powder, the setting powder. How am I under eyes looking? They actually look creased, but that's just my eyes. But the actual finish of the under eyes looks amazing. I mean, for affordable, cheap drugstore brand, their products are faultless, absolutely faultless. I like the color of lipstick. I liked everything. I don't think, apart from, yeah, apart from the dentist stuff. I mean, it's a setting spray. Not all of them smell great. <laughs> Um, but yeah, apart from that, I think I've done pretty well today. This guy was good. You just couldn't get into the crevices, but I think you get smaller ones that um, get into all the wee nooks and crannies. But for the majority of your face, this is really good. And for like, what was it again? Like five pound or three pound? Yeah, five pound. It's a really good brush, especially if you've got a big face like me. Got right in. So yeah, really happy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, yeah, hopefully there'll be a bit more improvements with how I'm talking and how I'm videoing and the background and the lighting and everything. But as I say, it's my first video and yeah, thanks for watching and subscribe and give me a thumbs up and I will see you on the next one. Bye guys.